Okay, I just left Fairbanks. I'm about 10 miles south of Fairbanks. I call a mountain here. I think those are the Wrangell Mountains way over there since they're so tall. And that's, man, that's over 200 miles away. So, but it's another gorgeous day and I got one more place to look at in Healy. So, headed down the road. And no trip would be complete without stopping at Skinny Dicks. They're closed right now. I'll show you what they look like. And this is kind of, it's out here. Yeah, I'm in the Nana, but it's a little bit foggy to see the river. I can barely see it. This is the home to the famous Ninana Ice Classic. They got this tripod up here, and they I think they just tie a string to it or a cable or something, and when the, it sits on the frozen river, and then they, everybody bets on times when it'll break up, and when it breaks that string, whether the cable is, that's the official time. And whoever's close to that time wins the jackpot. That's bit some pretty good money. I don't remember what it was this year. I entered it, but it was, I don't know what it was, 50,000, maybe even more than that. I just didn't realize the train came through here. Oops. Off on the, missed my, missed my one street in Nana. Oh, he looks like he can get off the train. Maybe not. I suppose you can probably get off the train here. Can just about anywhere it goes. As with all Alaskan towns, or Alaska, nothing happens till 10 in the morning. I mean, it's 8.30 now, and it looks like a ghost town. That's a little grocery store there. There's another person out. Looks like it's closed. Uh, let's see what we got there. That's open. The Rough Woods Inn. I wish it wasn't so foggy. Not sure what anybody does for a living here, but there's some nice log cabins here. See this one's this one is for sale right here. Look at how much it is. So oops back out on the parks and, and this is just, sorry for the wind noise, but the wind is just blowing like crazy here. So this is the Ninana River just south of Healy. And yeah, five miles maybe. You can see the snow start to work its way down. It's actually pretty good. Cool. The temperature is, but the wind chill is pretty cold. It's, uh, that's kind of pretty up in here. I had not been here before. The Alaska Railroad. So, okay. I'm keep on going here. Just turned off the Parks Highway. This is called the Denali Highway. I'm not sure. Classified as a highway, but that's what they call it. It's 135 miles across to Pax. And I'm not going to drive too late in the day to try and make it across now. So, but. Caribou country, we'll drive down here 20, 30 miles, see if maybe I can see a caribou or something. So, but there's quite a few hunters out, so we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm still up on the Denali Highway. I don't know how much farther I'm gonna go. Once later, go all the way, it's hard to, hard to argue with the scenery, that's for sure. I'll find some place along here and stop and fire up the stove and cook up some potatoes and onions and some bacon and eggs. So my lunch is going to be breakfast. That is the, that's the Ninana River down there. So it's kind of not terribly far from the origin. So, okay. I'm gone. Carry on. I'm not sure I was going to turn out. I found two little packets of mayonnaise, which are basically a lot of oil and eggs. So I'll put them in there. So give it a little bit of oil. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, it browned up okay. I'm not sure how the I can smell the mayonnaise, so I'm not sure what that's gonna do for flavor, but that's what I got. And besides that, you can eat anything on the creek bank and it's good. Yeah, I mean that was okay. Lunch could have been better, obviously, with real oil or bacon. I thought I had bacon with me how they But these things right here, 
dehydrated hash browns. They're just really, really good. You can get them at Walmart. I bought them at uh, Costco in bulk. They're like, I don't know, less than $2. Probably a buck and a quarter down there. $2 up here, $1.75. But, but they sure do work good. Light. And there's like three or four meals in just one of these little little boxes. So, great camp food. Okay, I'm going to get back on the yeah, road. Back in my condo after the uh, unsuccessful real estate search, but that's the way it goes. So, uh, I'm not sure if I'll go out again. Maybe someplace local, but man, it's like a hundred bucks just to drive up and look at something just, just for gas. So, that will be the conclusion of this video for now. So, thank you all for watching. One picture's worth a thousand words, but a thousand pictures here just still do not do justice. Only there's nothing that can convey what the human eye can see and feel and smell. So I have actually turned around and I'm headed back. I'm gonna go back. I just don't have time to go all the way across today. So. Stop and cook me some lunch. And uh, get some hash browns there. Pretty good scenery for lunch. Problem is, I thought I picked up a bottle of oil and I picked up a bottle of vinegar. So, I don't know if I'll get enough fat out of these sausages. Probably not. Cook anything else. So, Another senior moment, but I'll just enjoy the, the scenery. So, now that you can see, now there's a nice big moose going right through there. Yeah, you know, I just couldn't get this stupid smartphone to open up. Let's see if I can turn around. 